Have you seen what's happening out there? Have you even bothered to look? They need to be reminded of the order of things. Somebody's gonna have to make a stand. One day, somebody's gotta say enough. If I do this, I do it as a man. But you are not just the man. After three years in prison, Tommy Zelda couldn't wait to get home. You're my brother. I love you, so I lied. Until he got there. So where have I been for three years? Welcome home from France. Statistically speaking, people who go to France and then get out of France usually end up back in France. His old partner is tempting him. Ma, get in. I think he means me. Tommy, I want you back. That take us 12 million. Just got out of prison. And how's that going for you? Got a little mess on the poop deck. His ex is using him. I am gonna marry Frank, but you and I are gonna see each other whenever we can. Christy? Oh, hey, babe. How come you didn't answer? I was just about to jump in the shower. I probably didn't hear you over the sound of the water. His sister is smothering him. I want to start by saying I never liked Christy. Six months after you went in, she dumped you. She wrote me a lot of letters. That was me. What about the sexual stuff? Yeah, that was a little achy. And while everyone in his life is driving him crazy... I hate you. It will pass. He'll do anything. Where's the probation department? Down the hall. Whoops. ...to turn his life around. You're not quite what I expected when the word probation officer popped up. Hey, Mom. Hey, buddy. Tim Allen, Sigourney Weaver, Ray Liotta, Gene Triplehorn, J.K. Simmons, Julie Bowen, and Kelsey Grammer. Good job! In a comedy about trying to go straight... Did you ever kill anybody? I'm thinking about it. ...while trying not to go... I'm not the guy that went into prison. I'm the man that came out. Crazy on the outside. He's a sweet face. Jeez. What, are you, what are you saying? What's she saying? French boy, didn't you pick up any French?
both kids, it's the heart that's the real threat to their lives. How much more time do we have? Megan, maybe a year. Patrick, less. I wish that we had a drug to treat Pompeii, but we simply don't. I'm sorry. Dr. Stonehill. Yeah. This is John Crowley. All the researchers out there say that you're a genius on the verge of a scientific breakthrough. I'm not on the verge of anything. How much would it take to prove your theory? The odds against you are crushing. So where does that leave your kids when the dad has no job and no health insurance? You're right. This is crazy. But I can't just sit around and wait for my kids to die. I promised them that we'd raise 500. That's all? 1,000. Is it 500 or 1,000? 500,000. Are you totally insane? Apparently. Was he worth it? The Stonehill guy? He's really eccentric, but his science is way ahead of everybody else's. Do you have a wife? Uh, ex-wives. Two of them. Yeah? How come? Because I'm so easy to get along with. Figure any dude in a business suit can help me raise venture capital and run the company. But who's going to be half as motivated as a dad who's trying to save his own kids? We can do this. We push ourselves. We work around the clock. I already work around the clock. Great. Cure diseases in theory, but never help a single human being in reality. I can't cure your kids. You know that. But I think I can save their lives. And what if he succeeds too late? Then what? You're in clinical trials by the end of the year, or we pull the plug. Nobody is going to tell me how to run my lab. We're out of time. Are you crazy? You've jeopardized your chances of ever getting your kids treated. You told me that I should stop chasing miracles. Well, don't get your hopes up, kid. It's a Hail Mary. I'm not gonna kiss me, I think. I will restrain him. Pick up now where we left off. Mr. Stark, please. Yes, dear. Could I have your attention? Absolutely. Our priority here is to have you turn over the Iron Man weapon to the American people. Well, you can forget it. We're safe. America is secure. You want my property? You can't have it. But I did you a big favor. I have successfully privatized world peace. We're adjourned for the day. You've been a delight. Okay, give me a smooch for good luck. I might not make it back. You complete me. history and you forget all the lives the stark family has destroyed they will be blood in the water and the sharks will come So get